day on Bill. For the last 17 years, you've been wondering if you're the dad. I know he's not the father. Do you really want me to put you on blast? She meets men at bus stops. I think everybody rides for like a bus stop, Bill. She's popping her thing too She's much. She's popping her thing too much. I'm going to pop my day. Are these babies yours? They better be. DNA test results for both. Morales, Michael Sr. <laughs> Now. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching. When it comes to DNA disputes, we tend to think of fathers who deny paternity, but what if you thought you were the dad and you want to be the dad? But all of a sudden, you may not be the dad. Please welcome Michael to the show. Michael, how you doing? Good to see you, man. All right. Let's get this straight at the top. For the last 17 years, you've been wondering if you're the dad. But where have you been for most of those 17 years? I've been in prison. Prison? Yes. And you got out about a month ago? A month and a half. How do you like the freedom? Beautiful. You go from a prison cell to the Bill Cunningham show in 45 days. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, let's go back in time. Talk about Charlene and the difficulty uh, and the questions that you have. Uh, years ago, I was dating a young lady, Charlene, and uh, she brought to my attention that she was pregnant. Uh, and you were, you were in jail at that point? Yes. And I, was, I was out when she first got pregnant. You were in jail, you got out for a little bit, kind of waiting, and then you went back to jail for a very long time. Correct. And you were real excited about being a brand new dad. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tell me your feelings about that, about when you learned well, that. Well, for me, it was my first child. It, w it would have been my first child. So for me, that was a bundle of joy. At the time, I was skeptical, so I questioned her. We wasn't in an exclusive relationship, but we was dealing with one another. Right. I was already in a prior relationship. But when she told me she was pregnant, I wanted to make sure that I was the father. So ultimately, you were in jail, and you got some papers to sign indicating that you, Michael Sr., you were the father of Michael Jr., and you signed the, the birth certificates. Uh, yes. And she, she would bring the child to prison, and you saw, you saw Michael Jr. Yes, yes. Could absolutely. you hold him or not? Could yes, you, yes. You actually held him? Yes, yes, yes. And yes. so for a long time, in fact, here's a picture going back in time. This kind of old school, going back in time. And, and you spent a long time, many, many years in jail, thinking you were, in fact, the father of that child. But Absolutely. then a triggering event happened when you found out you might not be the father. What happened then? That's when things took a little turn. I received a letter after the child was approximately two years. She was not certain. It was Did she say gentleman. you were not the father, or she's uncertain whether you were the father? No. She was certain I was, and then she was certain I wasn't. I said a few things, call her out of character. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's not something I was proud of, but it did take a place. Yeah, you were dealing with a lot of other issues other than this, but as a man, as a father, you, you believed you had a baby boy, you signed the birth certificate, then she sent you a letter saying you weren't the baby daddy and you spent years trying to resolve it then you finally get out and how long has it been since you've seen Charlene other than that one meeting you just once in the last 17 or 18 years twice twice today's the day please welcome Michael's ex-girlfriend and maybe baby mama Charlene to the show come on out Charlene. first of all I want to say you're lying because that's not how the show went that's not how it went okay at the end of the day me and you was in the relationship okay and you know that when you brought the girl to my mother house for your jacket i said i got something for you i called the facility and i told you what it was i told you michael was not just your son at the end of the day i was 24 years old i'm 45 years old i ain't got time for it. you came to my house looking for me we didn't come looking for you Ike. Okay, at the I end of the day, Michael, house. I did not come looking for you. Don't say you called me out my character because you did not do none of that. You did not call me and say none of that. Yes, I know what I did was 
wrong to you, but you did not call me out of no character. So why is you sitting here on national TV line? Tell us what you what did. What show? What okay? show was she listening when to? I, what changed? Bill, actually, I called him and I told him that I did something. When we young, we do stupid things. Okay? I'm old. I, I do I stupid let him know things. It I happens. knew he was cheating already. So when he had the girl come to my house, can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. You said I was cheating. Yeah, like you said, you was already in a private relationship. So at the end of the day, I choose to sleep with you. I was so cheating you, with you though. With the you just said on the that TV you was with the girl also, right. so that's what but I'm I talking about. I didn't when she came to you. my house, when she came to my house, no, that's when I said I had me. something to right? Did you I'm tell him he was the baby daddy? Yes, yes, I did. And he tell signed me. the birth certificate. He signed the birth certificate, and which I know was a wrong thing to do. My son got Why'd to, you get him to do that? Okay, first of all, at the end of the day, I have with two men, okay? And two I, men. Right, I knew and you who named my, baby. I knew who was my son's father, okay? You knew that. Right, I knew that, but I signed... Michael Jr., you named the baby. Yes, he signed the birth certificate, and I had another one with my other son name on there. When my son went to go get... Let me ask you a question. Yes, you can. Please. You just said that I was cheating. You cheating? <laughs> I was cheating Where with well, you. That's 20 you years ago. Girl, Rachel, you was also cheating. That's what made me go on my revenge thing to you. What? Well, I was and in my a son relationship. was not two years old when I told you that he was in your son. My son was six months. Let's get it together when I caught the facility. Charlie, this and is 20 years ago, though. Let's move forward. 20 years? Who know who was cheating 20 years ago? Right. But we're here today to find out who is the baby right. daddy. Not, not so much the baby daddy, but the he, father of a 21-year-old. May I ask a okay, question? Okay, I'm looking for Yeah, go ahead. Michael Sr., go ahead. All right, so if you just told Bill that you knew who the father was, why did you send me the because paperwork? Because I just said, I just said, didn't you just hear what I just said? I just said that at the time I was 24 years old, I did a lot of stupid stuff and maybe on the revenge because when I found out you was dealing with the girl, revenge Rachel. Revenge what? It doesn't matter what the revenge was about. It's, it's, I didn't, look. You took the baby to prison I, I to say, here's your yes, son. I did, Bill, and, and with the You were 24. That? That's okay. not 14. That's right. 24. Uh, and I know what I was doing. And at the end of the day, I did something stupid. Right. So that's why we're here to clear you? it up today. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead, yes, Michael. You, can. you just sat here and told me right now that you knew who the father was. So why name him? Why name the baby uh, after me? That's why we on the show. At the end of the day, he the could end, be the father. But let me tell you something. I know he's not the father. You know? How okay. do you know that? Because I know that he oh. still had a doubt in his mind or a belief that I Michael. I had doubt in my belief that he he probably thought when he came home that I ain't had nobody. He still thought that he was going to come he home he gonna move in. and be in with me. And he, he had a son. my son to be so bad. His son, but. He's not. Son's 21 now, and the son's right. here. I mean, she, yeah. had a, she had a two minutes of fame. She got that I in. I ain't got no right. two minutes. I'm right. not now here listen, for two let me minutes ask you a question. We tried to do it the right way. How did you what? feel when he was on your doorstep after 17 I years? I didn't feel no kind of way, because at the end of the day, have any feelings for him anymore? Like, no, I don't. Because you're engaged to another man right now, and the other man's here, too. Yes. You're engaged, right? Yes, and he knows, too. He knows. Yeah, I told him that when we first got Does together. Does he have a concern you two might get back together? No. No, I told him he ain't even there with me and him. Not even I don't there. look at him like that. What's done is done. The past is over. What, what happened? Michael Sr., what if you find out today that Michael Jr. is not your son? Well, this is, I know one thing. Only she knows, only she knows all the answers. She knows all the answers. So, the little revenge, mind game... That's Naming a heck of a mind game to play on the man. That was so long Back ago. That's when we were listen, like 24. Shalene, at the end of the day, Shalene, it doesn't matter. It's not like you did anything for my son. Shalene, you were in touch Shalene, with him. Another action. You took his collect telephone calls. I even calls. told your family. Shalene. Shalene. What? Shalene. You're talking to me. No, I am talking to you because Shalene, I don't like listen, how you come out. Shalene. Listen. Do you really want me to put you on blast? Yeah, please. Okay, well, you came please, home. Please. You came and, and you, you came, knocked on my door, and you was like, oh, Charlene, I want to talk to you, whatever. You was asking me to come to my house, so you and everything. Excuse my expression. You wanted to get back with me, and I said, he I'm in a relationship. He wanted relations with you after I 17 told you that, years. And, this, and my, my fiance don't know, but he'll know right now. He's going to find out. You didn't out. ask me that? The yes, next okay, is the okay, stepdad so and the son are up next day right there. No. A new accusation. Why would you come and say that you wanted to make love to her when you already knew that she had a man? Ignites this DNA drama. When See, don't he, what I did. Now let wait, me tell you what she did. Oh, wait, wait, I know when you came to my house, I never made no pass at you. You made the pass at me. You lied. Don't miss the risk. Bill, I'm here today because a man named Michael assists that I'm his son. But I already know who my biological father is, and I feel Michael is wasting his time. Bill, I need these results because we need this man to leave us alone. Today's about DNA and daddies. We're going to bring on Alan, who's your fiance, and Michael Jr. in a moment.
If you could go back in time, whatever it is, would you want Michael Jr. to, in fact, be your son? Listen, I, I don't, I didn't, I didn't really sit around and build up uh, an emotion for that. But before we even get to that point, let me just go back to the beginning of, of this whole situation when I was dating this young lady. I saved her from an abusive relationship. Well, Bruce, I ain't never had no man touch me. Bruce, I got, you know what? Right. 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 We cannot right. go right. back in time. In his life. Right. Right. Please welcome you know Charlene's fiance, you, Alan, you know to the show. Alan, come on out. You better not never go ho, ho, here and say babe, that. I don't have babe, I've been with him going on for he ain't never put his hands on right, me. I never put Who's my hands on I never put my hands on her. When you came to our house, Please. you came the first day you seen wifey wifey, you told her that you was trying to get in touch with her about the, the DNA. Why would you come and say that you wanted to make love to her when you already knew that she had a man? He was when in prison was, 17 years. She, she oh, wrote him. She wrote him and told. She wrote him and told him that she was in a relationship. So why would he want him to think is is juicy? Well, why was she writing him? I never wrote him. him. Hold on, hold on, Except listen, in the collect listen, telephone call. I wrote him with my baby. My son was a baby. Yeah, he wrote black. me recently. Listen, you never wrote him at all. No, no listen, never wrote him. No. Not one no, time. Girl. It's, it's let that, your girl listen, finish talking. This, this is not about this. This is not oh, about... You know, you're taking part of the no, story. No, 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 I'm not taking part let of the story. Let her finish the story. First of all, he already knows. This is let her home. finish. Let, let me say something. Let her finish. Let me say something. When, she just told you right, what I did. Let her finish. Let her finish. Let let her finish. Let she when told he, you what I did. Now let wait, her tell listen. you what she did. Uh, wait a minute. I know when you came to my house, I never made no pass at you. You made the pass at me. I, I never said nothing about... Can you come to your house? Are we going to be honest? No, we're going to be honest. Don't do this on this show. Take a lie. Take a lie, detective. You lie. The other night you called and you told her to come downstairs. What was that about? Because you wanted to see my face. What you mean, come downstairs? You told her to come downstairs. The other night? The other night. The other day when we you, came back, yo, I when said, came, you said, can you come Hold on. Don't, don't, don't twist this. When I asked her to come downstairs, what did I ask you? You, you said, Charlene, can you come downstairs? I said, I got just coming from Walmart. I said, I'm tired. I said, come upstairs. You said, no, I wanted you to come downstairs so I could see your face. I said, Charlie why do you want to see Alan, my face? you know how upset That's what you said to me. You said, come downstairs because I want to see your face. So when I got high, you said, oh, here you go. Right. And then you curse, and that's when he that's grabbed when the phone. That's when I grabbed the phone. That's when he grabbed the phone. That's what I say to you. That's when I grabbed the you phone. You were like, oh, you acting like an that's like you always call me. That's when I grabbed the phone. Right, and that's when I grabbed the phone. What did I tell you? Hold, hold, hold. Yo, listen. That's when I grabbed the phone. What did I tell you I said? What, what did I? I said, Ike, right, when you, if you cursing at my at my wife, you're disrespecting me. That's going to cause confrontation between you. We don't want that here. We don't need. No, we're not going to be here. Alan, I said, we're here today. Hold on, hold on. Everyone, hold on. We, we're not even here about that. Bill, we're not even here about that. Now, correct. No, no, we're not no, even here about Michael Jr. Let's you get to the point. Michael Jr. Hold on, Charlene. Please welcome Charlene's, we're 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 welcome Charlene's son and maybe Mike or Sr. son. Michael Jr., come on out. Michael Jr. No, no, no. 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 No, Charlene, thing, just one thing. We're here for one it. reason, which is Michael Jr. We're here to find I'm out your who's your father. Right. Biologic. Now, hold on. After this, you, know, you can take your, her number out your phone. And she I'm can take, take her right, number out. I don't like how you no, do it. No, you're dealing with relationship emotions right now. No, no, no. You're not even being clear. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Alan, I want to hear from Michael Jr. We speak. Alan, we speak, right? I'm not a speak. But it's not even about that. It's about the business. It's about the business. Hold on. It's about everyone, calm, everyone, sit back and calm down. I want to talk no. to Michael. Michael. Yes. I called oh, you Michael oh, Jr. Man. and you said I'm not oh, Michael. Yeah. I got my own Jr. You are. Yes. You got your own. Yes. What is your relationship, if any, with your alleged biological dad, Michael Sr.? I don't, to be honest, I really don't know him. I just Nothing. just met him. You don't recall going to prison to visit? No. You were too young. I don't know about none of that. Nothing at all. Now, what was your understanding early on about who your biological dad was? I know who my real father is. He passed away 2008. And so, uh, so several father. years ago, he passed away. Yeah. So are you invested in this, in this outcome at all to find out if DNA-wise this is your biological dad? Is this something that interests yeah. you? Yeah. So everybody can move on with their life. And do you understand the history that your mom in prison had him sign a birth certificate saying he was your father? Do you understand yeah. that? Yes. And that according to Michael, there were 
some letters, and there were some collect telephone calls and some contact. Now, that is disputed by Charlene. Yes. But you understand that's his perspective. Yeah. Can you understand Michael Sr.'s mm -hmm. concern, pain, being in prison for 17 years, thinking he's got his baby boy, and he found out about six months to two years into the process that he was maybe told a lie. Can you understand where yeah, he I is? Yeah, I understand. Explain that. If that was like vice versa, if I was older, like I would want... But did he, did he feel the pain when he, he cheated on me? Talk. Just for a moment, okay. honey. Just for uh, 20 to, years, and we don't care about 20 years. Yeah, I want, him to, I want him to hear me up. So when he came home, I had the mouth, listen to what he, what he was saying. Because I wanted to know, I wanted to get both sides of the story. You want it all out. Yeah. And you're getting it, it today yeah. in, in ways. What is your relationship with your mom's fiance? Well, that's my stepfather. That's, that's basically my, my, um, my, my real father, You're too. close to Alan. Yeah. You love that man. Yeah, of course you love your yeah. mom. Yeah, he, oh, he's, what are your feelings him. toward Michael? Um, I don't have no feelings with him. I respect him. I'm cool with him. After the show, I always say what up with him. You want a relationship with him down no, the road? No, I wouldn't need to. I'm, I'm 21. I'm grown, basically grown myself. I have a lot of father figures in my life, so... It's really, and you I got your own babies, right? Yes, I have my own son. This Born stuff son. about 20, 25 years ago is interesting, but we got to find out today. Every person has a right to know. Yeah. Charlene, what's She's in your heart right now? Yeah, tell me, Mama. Right. Hey, about what? Right. Charlene, what? It ain't that serious. We'll stop so, hold on, Charlene. Well, for, to her, it, hold on, Al. To, to her, it is serious. Today, Bill. That's Don't tell the woman it's not serious. That's Charlene. Why we, that's what we all hear. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Charlene, why are there tears in your eyes? Because she's been mean, carrying this on her shoulders for too long. Okay. She felt like she hurt me, but she ain't hurt me. She ain't hurt me. To nobody. I never made him see like he was the victim or anything. And my son used to be like, why are you so angry? Like, he never understood until the day he had to go get his ID. And I explained to him, one minute I'd be up, one minute I'd be down, because it was on my shoulder for a long time. And I knew that Michael would come home eventually to get it over with. So when he wrote me that day... He was like, Charlene, I know you want to get your thing clear with him. And I tried to send him the other birth certificate with my son's name on it, but he said it wouldn't get through. There's two birth certificates. Yes, yeah, two birth certificates. He didn't know until you were 16, right? To, yeah. When he wants to get to his license, kid. there was two birth certificates. And then, and then he says to his mama, Mama, I got two birth certificates. How is that possible? So you had the guilt that you carried for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Until she, he was 16. You've been to explain to me, but I was young. I, want, I ain't really want to hear about that. But no. now as I'm getting older, it's you starting care. to affect me a little. So now I really want to know. All right. We have DNA test results in this matter coming up, plus more DNA drama. Stay right there. A sister-in-law makes a scandalous allegation. A doubt. Who leaves at three months from the time you come back pregnant? And it's destroying this relationship. Is, this, is your sister interfering she, in this relationship? Yes, everybody does. They don't even like she Helen. Likes the family. Helen, no, Helen, 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 Helen has a problem, okay? But I still love her. Don't miss. Hey, I'm hey, none of that. No. 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 The DNA. No. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. It's bad enough when you don't like your brother's wife, but it's far worse when she's trying to pin two babies on him that you don't think are his. Please welcome Aretha to the show. Aretha, how you doing? All right, you think your sister-in-law is living a lie with your brother. Please explain. Look, Bill, I'm gonna tell you like this, okay? My brother is 58 years old, okay? His wife is 22 years younger than him, okay? 58 and uh, 36. Exactly. He's trying to retire, and she's out there trying to pop her thing. Like, who do that? And every, she leave for three months at a time, okay? Yeah. And she come back with babies. Like, who do that? She goes away and comes back with babies. Come back with babies. Like, who do that? What is she doing on those trips? She's popping her thing too she's much. She's popping her thing too much. Exactly. <laughs> and, and so, as I understand, how many total babies does she have? Two. Two. And she claims your brother is the father of both. Exactly. And you have a doubt. A doubt. Who leaves at three months from the time you come back pregnant? What do you guys think? Well, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, exactly. It's possible. How exactly. does your brother react to this? My brother is very passive, okay? He tries to give her the benefit of the doubt. It's a weird relationship. 
But I think that this whole thing of dropping it down and picking it up when you want to, and he has the baby's bill. He keeps the keep, keep the kids while she leaves at three months at a time, and nobody knows where she Does is. Does he believe the children are his? He have doubt. Now, who wouldn't have doubt? Now, he, she meets men at bus stops. Is that correct? I think everybody... Field. Are you, so Helen is very fir flirtatious, shall we say? Oh, very much. I, I think it's, I don't know if it's more that she didn't get attention when she was a kid, but she loves attention, okay? And she just, she she's just very flirtatious. Tell very. the story about you two sitting in a park bench and what happened. We took the kids to the park. And as soon as we get out of the car and go over to the park, now the basketball court is way over there. How does you spot us from over there, beyond me. But he runs over there. He's like, Helen, let me talk to you for a minute. I'm like, who is this? She goes, oh, that's just my ex. That's just my ex. One of my ex. One of my exes. And I'm like, OK, um, why he all beefed up? Why he beefed up? And then he's like, well, when I talk to you? And she's like, OK. I said, well, just talk to him. You know, and she was like, well, don't be raising your voice to me. Don't be yelling at me. So they were talking down. But he was pointing at her stomach and doing his hand like this. So I'm like, oh, really now? Really? What's that all about? So they got to be his kids. All right, please welcome Aretha's sister-in-law, Helen, to the show. Helen, come on out, Helen. Yeah, Helen, come on out. Let me tell you one thing. You and your whole family stay out of business because them are Tyrell's kids, and I'm, we're going to straighten this out today. Have a seat there, Helen. Because I am really tired of the drama. Too much. Too well, much. What is her? What is her family putting you through, Helen? They build. They put me through hell. All the time. All the time, and I'm getting real sick and tired of it. Oh. And today, it's going to stop. Is there any doubt Torellis is in fact the father of those two? Any doubt? Is you have no. any doubt? Hundred percent. Who was 100%. that guy in the park? No, 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 no. That was my no. Ex. I begged the devil. That was my ex, Bill. Bill. Yeah. Yes. Well, what was the conversation about when he's pointing at your uh, stomach there? I was telling him that I am married now, and it was over. It was over when well, I left. Why would he be pointing him. at your stomach and doing his hand like this? Bill, was during that this? time, I was pregnant. Of course. And I was out. Maybe with his baby. But that was maybe just my with ex. his baby. Okay, that's why Torellas bring other women to the house because I don't know what type of dysfunctional relationship y'all got, but it's weird. Okay. So her man is bringing women to whose house? To their house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Torellas is no. bringing women to your house? Exactly. They play yes, cards, well, they drink, and they just kick it, kick the bobos. Like, okay, but <laughs> maybe that's her reason for going out and pop her thing. Do you okay. think Torellas cheating on you a little bit? I'm, I don't, I can't. What about the say, women he brings to your house? It's just his friends. Look, you I got believe. a lot of female friends and some yes. cousins. That's all he brings. Yes, but another thing, he would not let me have female friends. He won't let you have them, but he no. has them. Okay. Um, How certain are you make, that Terrell's let me, the best? Let me say this, Mr. Bill. Go ahead, go ahead. Me and Terrell, we are in a good, good relationship. Okay. Is it an open relationship? The yes. baby dad is, it is an open relationship. Thank you. How you doing? All right. <laughs> Let the me baby tell you daddy this. is here coming up next. Stay right Let there. Let me tell you this. A relationship under fire. Is it okay with you if he cheats with other women? Creates big doubts. He yeah, will leave you still. for three and four months at a time and come back pregnant. Yeah, me and me and Ali Ellis, yeah, she yeah, she did it she both times, both babies. I need to know if them my kids. Ready for the results? I'm ready for the results. I'm ready to see what's good. We need to know as a family so we can move forward. I'm gonna be her new bodyguard, best friend. How you doing? Today's about daddy DNA does not lie. Helen, I kind of asked you this. We ended up by saying you're in like an open relationship, but your definition of open may not be our definition of open. Is it okay with you if he cheats with other women as long as you don't know about it? No. Do you cheat with other guys? No, I don't. Doesn't happen. No. I think the thing is that she feels okay with him having women around no, because it I makes her feel better about going out for three and four months at a time, what popping a thing and coming back with a baby and saying it's his. No, don't go Where do you pop your I, thing, Helen? Where? Don't go time that I left. I was already pregnant. Me yeah, and Torella was going to 
whole thing. So I oh, left. Oh, yeah, Bill, she leaves the babies at home with him while she goes out and pop a thing and drop a light. I do not go and pop my thing. Is that true, Ellen? No, that is a lie. I do not go and pop my thing, so you need to stop your lying. You always leave Please the kids. Please welcome Aretha's no, brother and Helen's right. maybe baby right. daddy, Torellis. Torellis, come on out. All right, Torellis. 22-year age difference, right? Now, I'll be 60 years old and 14 years. Six, months. maybe a little more than 22 years. What is your relationship like with Helen? I met Helen in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the bus stop January 3rd, 2009. Stop. Shut up. Stop. Don't curse. Are you angry? Did you meet her at a bus stop? Yes. All right. She picks up guys at the bus stop is what your sister is saying. Now, tell me about your relationship with Helen. I met her January 3rd, 09. I met her February 18th, 09. I left and I went to Indianapolis. She called me from Indianapolis. I sent for her. Is, this, now, is your sister interfering she, in this relationship? Yes, everybody does. They don't even like she Helen. She likes the family. Helen, no, Helen, she, Helen, she, Helen she has a problem, come okay? Over to mom's but house. I she still can't love. Even come over mom's house. Mom won't let her in. The kids need her. I still go over there. What you mean? Yeah. I can't come no, over there. No, you cannot. You're My whole yes, I over still there go over there because you're, you, I would be uncomfortable too. Coming over to my husband's family house, know that I be leaving at three or four months at a time, that leaving the kids, running around, leaving the kids. Well, you, the 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 kids the so she'll she leave yourself. you for three and four months at a time and come back pregnant. Yeah, me and me and Ali Ellis. Yeah, she yeah she did it she both times, both babies. I need to know if they're my kids because exactly. it is. That's the point of the show. Exactly. You want to know if those kids are yours. Right. You have exactly. adapted. Here, here's a picture of one of them, four month old. Beautiful. Yeah, that's Virginia. Virginia, beautiful. The love of my life. Is that your child? I you need, need to know. I need to know. I need Helen, to know. Helen, why do you disappear for months I, at a time from your know. husband? We've been going through no. things, so I left. I gotta ask the audience: Is Any, it normal for anybody to leave? How do you go ask those people? Three or four months at a time. I'm just asking. Y'all don't really know the whole hey, deal. The, the, the that's thing, right. Y'all don't know the whole deal. The whole really? Thing. The thing about it is this. Okay. I lay here, I call the police twice. Exactly. They pick Making up and salute her. They, they can't find her. They got your behind down and salute exactly. her. Carolina sent you back to me with Ali Ellis. Exactly. The second time you left me in the baby, when I called the Waukegan police behavior. and found you down in Atlanta, and Georgia, behavior. and she's got a beautiful, I give her a beautiful home. Oh, hey, you know what? The, 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 the divorce really? is here. I need another woman. Help me take care of my kids. So, baby, we get home, it's on. What about them the females? Divorce, it don't matter. Yeah, I, Are I, I, these babies I, I, yours? They better be. What if they're not? They still man. You're going back to the bus stop to find another man. That's yeah. what happens. Yeah. Take care. Take care. And, and another thing, the divorce is... The divorce. divorce. Baby, I forgot to tell you. I'm going to divorce you so we get home. Well, Don't worry, I already had that planned okay, well, up. That's no, good, but you can have the money from the lawsuit. It doesn't matter. Mm -mm. You keep the house. Mm -mm. I mean, the house. I just want my kids. What if you are the baby daddy? daddy? What if you are? I'm going to still take the kids. Still You're taking the kids divorce. anyway. We still get the divorce. divorce. DNA test results in all the cases coming up. Stay right there. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Should Helen stay with Torellis or raise her two kids without his family's interference? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call one One of the best things we can do on this show is help a child, even a grown child, find out who his father is. We're going to do that right now. DNA test results for both. All right, hold on. All right, we're going to come this way first. Torellis. Yes, sir. You have a four-year-old boy and a four-month-old girl. The love of my life. The love of your life. And your sister believes that uh, you're not the baby daddy of either. She ain't no the only one. All the family. No. no, all of your family. All the family. They're believe. after her constantly, after Helen. Right. Right. What do you want to happen? You can't make it happen. What do you want to happen? I want them to honestly. Drop my bike off at the bus stop. What, <laughs> what do you want? 
Maybe, maybe your family needs to stay out of this relationship a little bit. Would that help? They do. Would that help you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it comes to the paternity of four-year-old Eileen Ellis, yeah. you are the baby dad. <laughs> No question. Uh, uh, ain't none of that. No. 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 I, I got to no. hold on to that. Take a look at Bill, where your glasses at? Bye. Bye. 99.999999. Hey. That's your point. And why is that important to you? Because it is very important. Because now I, what? I need one oh more. Oh, my goodness. I have 20 kids, and I need to know if all y'all, I'm really mad. I'll be 60 in 14 months. Mama's baby, daddy's maybe, yes. How many, I got 43 how many babies? You got 20? And five great grands. And I need to know if all these kids are mine before I die. And I'm starting at the bottom, working to the top. Well. Now, how many baby mamas do you have? Oh, my goodness. I just. How can't. many, Helen, was it? How many baby mamas? Oh, oh my God. I can't count. Can't oh count. My goodness. 20. No, 20. Oh, my 17. goodness. 17. 17. 17. 17 and 20. 17 and 20. All right. Oh my 17 goodness. baby mamas and 20 babies. I need DNA test for all of them. All right, you got them. All right, let's go on. Are you ready now? He's trying to retire. When it comes yeah, to maternity, a four he month old Virginia. Retire. Hold on, Terrellis. When it comes. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the maternity, a four month old Virginia. You are the baby dad. <laughs> and your nephew. Yeah. You've been denying them. Where my babies? Where my babies? Where my kids? I want my, I want my kids. I'm That's why. Where my son, my daughter? Now. Now. He, he out there want to believe like, what they said. Where my niece and nephew? Where oh, my God. Where's my no, no, just bring my babies. Look, I, I want my babies, OK? Oh, Let's get them. We'll do all the A season of shows will be on your life. A season. <laughs> hold on, hold on. my babies. Hold on, Helen. We got another big story here. Here sits two Michaels, 17 years in prison, signed a birth certificate. But Charlene, you had something you wanted to say before we get started, correct? Yeah, I just want to say to my son, look at me. I'm your mother. You know I did everything for you. I raised you right. You're not violent. You're not in jail. Um, at the end of the day, if I did anything wrong, I don't want you to hold anything in. I want you to talk to me and let me know how you feel because this been on your shoulder also. Yeah. So please, before Bill read the results, because I don't want to hear it later, oh, mind this and that, or what you did, you could tell me now today, because I can take it. Are you covering for yourself a little bit here? No, I'm not. I just, this is how I feel with my son. And well, this is a good mother you have yeah. here. Yeah, it's a great mother, great mother. Michael Sr., what does it mean to you after all this? 17 years in prison, you've been out for a month and a half. This is the moment, whether that man is your son. What does it mean? I just want clarity for the young man, for he can move on with his life. All right, when it comes to his paternity, Michael Sr., you are not his father. <laughs> Zero percent. Charlene, I wouldn't be dancing yet no, because you misled this man in prison also, for a long time. You misled that, him, honey. Let me tell you something. And at the end of the day, I asked her the that I want to apologize to him way before. Let's hear it. Right. I am very sorry that this happened. I knew you wasn't a father. Maybe I did it, like I said, for revenge when you did what you did with the other girl. And I knew in my heart you was not the father. What I did to you was wrong, Michael. And me and you never had no blood. We never had no beef. But to come on here to make me like the bad guy, I know what I did was wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Do you accept her but apology, Michael? at the Michael? end of the day, if you can accept my apology, I mean, I did not mean to hurt nobody. It's not like I waited till he was t now. I told He's you 21. since he was little. 21 years. 
You accept her apology? Like I told you before, I'm just here for the young man right here. Make sure he get on with his life. He now knows. He need what he need. So you know who the ba who your father is biologically? Yes. Hundred yeah. percent. Yes. A lot more to clear up. Stay Been right there. Been in his there. life since he was a baby. <laughs> Family need to apologize. Everybody, everybody's got to apologize about this. Even them kids, all of them. I need DNA for everybody now. This, this is this is this last. This is driving off the camel's back. They didn't believe it was mine. You just sat here and told me right now that you knew who the father was. So why name him? Why name the baby after me? Face DNA doubts. You and your whole family need to stay out of our business because. Them are Tlarella's kids. And DNA results. You are not his father. <laughs> you are the baby dad. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! We had some closure today on paternity, but these relationships may still need a little bit of work. To help out, a psychotherapist, Ish Major. Ish, how you doing? You're doing well, man. You're doing well. All right, if you can address Torellis and, and Helen. Torellis has made a national plea for these 20 babies out there from California to Maine, from Florida to Alaska, to come <laughs> forward. And, and Helen still is laughing and smiling and crying. Where does his relationship go from here? And what about his sister, who's interfered in this for four years? Long time. So, Bill, you gave us a lot of answers. You, but I got a lot more questions is what I've got now. So, Torellis, you're the husband. Part of being the husband means that you've got to put your woman first, right? Yeah. Which means, and Aretha, I've got five sisters. I love them, so I know how it goes. But you got to get out of their business. And not just me. It's the whole family. Exactly. You know what I'm, but but the, to say that... With the behavior pattern, uh -huh. it brought it brings about. Uh huh. Here's doubt. the situation, Torellis. Who are you married to, Helen or Aretha? Both of us. No, that was that's never going to work, and that's the problem. You got to be the man. You got to put Helen first. Helen, you got to make a decision, honey. Going one to two months at a time, either you're in or out. Okay, you got to be all in, or you got to do something different. But it, I'm glad y'all got some answers today. But Torellis, you got to be the man. You got to set the boundaries. Wife comes first, family comes next. Torellis, yes. that's the whole thing he does for the family. Torellis, are you gonna are you gonna tell Aretha to back off, back away? I'm, a little? I'm, I'm gonna tell them all to back off. Back off your wife. My wife has her own home. She's blessed. Okay, them children are blessed. They've been blessed. But everybody's long range different. On the outside looking in, uh, uh if you're on the inside, you can look out. Y'all don't even know what's going on. But all my family members, sisters and brothers, and all them kids are supposed to be mad. I need DNA for everybody, and I want it. I'm asking for it on national television. We got 17 baby mamas and 20 kids out there. Now, Ish, turn to your left, because yes, this sir. story is so dramatic that this it man is. spent months, if not years, in jail thinking he had his baby boy waiting, and then he signed the birth certificate, a second birth certificate, yeah. and the son didn't know until he turned like 16 years old until there was yeah. two birth certificates to get his driver's license. Where does this family go from here? That's a lot of drama. I'm going to start with Michael Sr. Listen, 17 years, I can't imagine what that's like, and big respect to you for coming out here and wanting to get your affairs in order, but you got to do it in a way that doesn't disrupt everybody's life, and it sounds like you've tried to be respectful about it, okay? Now, Michael's junior, you're 21 years now, and you said, look, Michael's doing it. Michael Willis. Yeah. Michael Willis. His, everything on his ID no, is Michael, Michael Willis. Willis. So, I'm just saying. And so now, Michael Sr., are you ready to move forward? Now, you, now you've got your answer. Are you ready to move forward with your life as it, as it has been for this next month and, and a half? Do you three want him involved in your lives Absolutely. at all? No. 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 Michael Sr., it's time to get a new life. And you Absolutely. hear that. They, they say they're, they're done, cut ties and run. Okay? Done. Now, Charlene, mm -hmm. my dear. Yes. We've all been young and dumb. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm old and I'm still kind of dumb. I know. So, but you heard that saying, the only thing worse than being a young fool is an old fool. Uh -huh. And so now you, you come out here, you, you put it all on the plate, and now you got some answers. My one question for you was, you seem so upset with the whole cheating thing from 20 years ago. I wonder if there's still not something there for you. There's nothing there. 
at the end of the day, I was just trying to explain my story, the reason why I did what I did. Mm -hmm. That's what it was about. It was nothing to have anything to do with me and him. Okay. He never wrote me no letters to try to make no pass at me. I never wrote him back. I never threw him under the bus to say he said anything until recently was something me and him was just talking about. Mm -hmm. We never had no beef, no nothing. When he wrote me, he asked me about what was going on. He'd do anything to help my son. We mm -hmm. never had no type of problem, anything. So at the end of the day, I don't know when I was behind the stage and he was saying how he called me out of my character. He said all this stuff. He never one time talked to me like that. And that's why I was look, li listening like I came out angry like I was because you Very never angry. came out Very like angry. that to me. And, and so to come out and say you called me out of character, she, she's gonna we see. had a good relationship. We had a she's cool relationship until I found right. out what you was doing to so, me. And here's the thing. you know, we, we all have our choices we make and we all have our emotions. You got a right to those things, but you don't have a right to let those emotions those those and those choices mess up everybody else's life. And when she was behind the curtain, when she was behind the curtain, and she said what she thought she heard, when she see this show, it, she's gonna realize she made another mistake. Right. Yep. Well, let's see what happens. Let me continue the bottom dollar. line. For more info, go to the website BillCunninghamShow.com. <laughs> Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. When it comes to DNA doubt, here's the bottom line. A mother has a foolproof way of knowing who her baby is. It's called childbirth. But a father can never be sure. So do your future child a favor and avoid a DNA dilemma. Pick a mate you can trust and stick with them. Believe me, your future child will thank you. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. Yeah.